Hi everyone, Yannick for Kanazen Precision Shooting. Today we present to you the ultimate muzzle brake uh, test video that has never been done before. So we've spent four complete days, shot hundreds of rounds, measured all of them to bring to you all this complete analysis. So the brake being tested in this video are the ACE muzzle brake, APA Fat Bastard Gen 3. We did the APA Fat Bastard Gen 3 with the uh, new Cone of Shame. We have the Little Bastard, Area 419, Hellfire Match, the ATS and ATS H2, Botnia Maxi, Botnia Midi, Botnia Mini, the KDX MX1 Mini, KDX MX2, the EC Tuner Brake, HyperTap with closed port, HyperTap open top port, Insight Heaton Gen 2 with a tuner, the Insight OG, the MDT Comp, MPA DN5, MPA DN3, the original custom component, PVA Jet 4, PVA Jet Blast, PVA Chuck Wave, the Red Nub 420, Red Nub Custom OG, Spearhead Junction, Spearhead OG. So big thank you for everyone who provided one of the Mosul Break for being tested, either privately owned and, and been sending me just for the uh, this just for the Mosul Break testing or a lot of company have stepped it up and, and provided one of the muzzle brake for being tested there. And so it's really appreciate beads because of you that we've been able to get collect and, and get all the data that we can share right now with the, uh, with the rest of the shooting community. So that being said, let's dive right into it. So for today's video, we'll present 30 of the best muzzle brake on the market right now. And to keep the video short, we will present only the overall result and after that, I'll make about five uh, minutes video that will go deeper per muzzle brake brand, uh, explaining the specific result and different uh, different analysis uh, that certain brakes have. So the first test is the usual linear bench, measuring the overall felt recoil per brake. To simplify the reading, I'll present the result by percentage, 100% being the most effective brake we've tested. The second test will be the muzzle movement, where first we will be measuring the maximum height the reached by the barrel, and secondly the end movement, or how far the reticle ends compared to his initial position after the shot. We did the entire test with two different cartridges, the 223 Remington and a 6 screen more, and we took about 3 shots per stage per caliber, per break, uh, obviously. All results have been really repeatable from shot to shot and day to day with less than 2% variation at worst. Finally, we'll measure the concussion as it is a huge aspect being considered by a shooter when choosing a muzzle brake. We'll measure the gas exit angle of the brake and we'll have a, a feeling scale about our perception of the blast going to the shooter. Before we start, what have we learned through the couple days of testing? First of all, brake efficiency depends on the amount of pressure that will be generating by the powder burning. So different case size will perform differently on different brakes and this is the main reason why we did uh, the test with a 223 and doesn't, that doesn't produce uh, much gases and a cream more that is more consequent. Second lesson learned, and this is a hard truth, the felt performance depends a lot on your shooting style. There is a world between someone who shoot a uh, free recoil on a barricade and those loading them. Overall, I think this test is a, is a good representation of how the brakes uh, behave and then you just need to find what will fit you and your shooting style best. The same idea brings us the third lesson. There is a difference between a brake and a compensator. Like said in the uh, second muzzle brake uh, testing video, a comp design doesn't really care much about the recoil action as uh, it tries to keep a good sight picture when shooting. And a muzzle brake work on the uh, reducing the felt recoil. 
a lot of manufacturers also have a bit of a design of boat like a angled baffle and open top ports. Opening the top ports of a muzzle brake have proved in our testing to reduce the performance of the uh, brake uh, recoil reduction wise where it is also where it also reduced the uh, muzzle rise by a lot. We've put in our table for example the HyperTap open top port and closed top port where you can easily see this exact effect. And finally a fun fact concerning uh, the concussion. We've been able to observe a difference between the baffle angle and the real gas exit angle and the concussion felt uh, at the shooter's position. Now thanks to Butnia Solutions for providing the images, uh, we can confirm that the baffle angle if, is far from being the only factor that will affect the blast felt by the shooters. On those boat uh, simulation, for example, both muzzle brake use the same baffle angle and it's just a difference in the size of the, uh, of the chamber between one to the other that you can uh, see drastically improve the concussion or well the gas's uh, exit angle that goes toward the shooter. And now the part that everyone is waiting for, the result. Keep in mind that we're testing here the best muzzle brakes available on the market and so even a 10% difference in the, in the result might be hard to feel and, and tell when you're shooting them. Or at least it's, it's how I feel it. All tables of content will be available on a SharePoint. Link will be in the comment section. If you guys want to crunch a number, look at them on your own, feel free to do so. All right, so here are shown the recoil reduction result. So linear bench only, the overall result and both the 223 and the Creedmoor cartridges. So our overall recoil reduction wise best performers are the Botnia uh, Maxi, then Botnia, Botnia Midi, the uh, MPA uh, DN3 and DN5, and then the HyperTap uh, closed top port. Now let's add the concussion uh, to our result and see how in average our best recoil performing muzzle brake on the linear bench are also those that will blast the shooter the most. Now let's do the same comparison but with uh, brakes that produce low concussions only. Because a lot of shooters, and I'm one of them, tend to stay away as much as possible uh, to the blast for a couple of good reason, being mostly the decrease in concentration or brain felt after being shaked for multiple days of shooting in a row. The best performers with low concussion for the recoil reduction, uh, the, well the bench, are the ATS muzzle brakes, the Red Knob 420, the uh, ACE, the Insight, uh, I'll call it the, uh, the uh, Gen 2, and the EC Tuner Brake. We can talk slightly here about the idea uh, of the cone of shame brought by APA to redirect the gas uh, forward and removing pressure going around the shooter. Where the idea isn't bad to reduce concussion and work on this part, our testing have shown a significant performance loss. Other than for hunting purposes or maybe someone that want to stay uh, absolutely with, with his uh, APA break, I don't really see the point of using one. And now the muzzle jump analysis. This one has so much data from different kind of, of buttstock pressure, different cartridges and so on, it was hard to bring uh, a scale that will fit and compare every break together from day to day and different testing uh, we've done. So the table shown here is more of a position scale, but if you really want to see uh, the entire test, you can go to the, to the uh, SharePoint and uh, crunch the numbers by your own. You will see difference uh, from one day to another, the different in the bust of pressure we've applied and the different with the different brake uh, used on day one, day two, day three and day four. Our best performers for the muzzle jump part, uh, well if we go overall uh, with, the, uh, with the maximum concussion felt uh, also, we got the best performers, the Botnia Maxi Midi, then the PA DN5. If we exclude the 
uh, muzzle brake that does have quite a lot of blast to the shooters and we go for the uh, I'll say concussion friendly muzzle brake on the uh, on the muzzle jump uh, result we see the ATS being uh, being on top of the list then we see the red knob 420 that being said crossing the numbers we can see that few of the best recoil performers are also at the top of the muzzle jump scale the example for the Botnia, uh, Maxi and Midi, the MPA. For the rest, we have some really good performers on the scale that didn't perform as well in the recoil reduction test. Pushing forward the idea of a comp and some sort of muzzle brake being really good for PRS without the concussion. Now that results are available, you will see some different way to look at the data into the SharePoint uh, depending on what you're looking for. I did regroup the brakes that also have a tuner together for the believers. I also did a price per performance table as some brakes are really cheap and others are really expensive and so on. Hopefully you guys have liked the video, stay tuned for the brand per brand in-depth result. Let me know in the comment uh, which one you would like to see first or even uh, other brakes being tested that were not into this, uh, this last video. So that being said, have a good season and see you all at the range.